Today is Governor Josh Shapiro's first full day in office, and tonight we are hearing from a local politician and an analyst about what the new administration could expect. Brianna Malone joins us from the newsroom with more. Brianna. Gen 1 political analyst says it was a historic election, and it could be a historically challenging time for Josh Shapiro. As Josh Shapiro officially becomes Pennsylvania's new governor, Brad Roy, a state representative of the 6th District, says a good place for Shapiro to start is implementing ID to vote, as about 80% of the public supports this decision. Roy says he believes the governor will hit the ground running as his first term begins. All legislators are policy driven. You know, we all want to do what our constituents want, so all 253 of us will be pushing for things that our local people want. Although Democrats continue to dominate the governor position, Roy says he expects all of Pennsylvania to remain as is. All politics are local, so I think that there's going to be parts of PA that continue to be strong Democrat, other areas strong Republican, some areas kind of in the middle. A political analyst of Allegheny College says Senate Republicans have already put forward three constitutional amendments. He says one of them could have the most impact during Shapiro's term. One of which would limit the governor's regulatory power, uh, and that has already passed in the Senate. Depending on the outcome of the special elections for the PA House seats, one local analyst says it will determine how much of a fight Shapiro will have. Who ends up controlling the state legislature and what kind of legislation comes out of the state legislature? The other thing depends on what happens with uh, the constitutional amendment pertaining to, uh, to the governor's regulatory power, right? Uh, if he cannot veto regulation that comes out of, uh, or curtailing of regulation, of, of that's what the, uh, the Republican legislature decides, that's really going to limit uh, what he can do. To stand before you. Brad Roy says he hopes the Shapiro administration will be more timely and organized than the previous one. 